Milligan starting it off against Laurel Wiggle. Wiggle wins that one. Tries to get it back, and it's taken away in the early going, and defense will be key against this high-octane offense. Regis, average. I mean, typically, a team might see 83 to 90 points once or twice in a season. Smith looking for an opening. And it all alone, and it knocked down two as Rosencrantz. Awards outstanding player. We saw the graphic just earlier, Robin Buna. Just seems like uh, Smith nails it. They beat the number two ranked team in the country. The steal back the other way. Soft into the net from Hutzler. Poor decision. By the end of the first quarter, SFU was shooting 50% from the field. Saying you need to get more physical with this team. You can't make it as easy as that. <laughs> you got to play it. To make history. For Taylor Smith. This is her last game possible. That one falls. So what can we look at you guys improving on? I think we need to stop penetration. I think offensively we've we've taken some shots that aren't us. Um, stop moving a little bit on offense. We need to fix that. But I, I think the big thing is we've given up way more points than we would normally typically give up, and we need to fix that whole. Birds coach. You must be pretty happy right now going into the second half, only down by a few points to the number one team in the country. I think we're playing a really good game, a really smart game. Um, we had a game plan coming into this, and I think our players are executing. A few uh, early moment jitters. We had some open shots that we didn't knock down, but now that we've settled down, I like the way we're playing. We're playing a physical game. Um, we're challenging them at every position on the floor, and we're making them work hard for every bucket they get. I'd like to see our defensive transition be a little bit better than it was. I think we gave up too many breaks um, and a couple of sloppy fouls that we didn't need. But otherwise, I, I like the way we're putting on the ball on the floor and penetrating. If we can keep that up, then this is going to be a game coming down the stretch. And you must be really happy with how Rosencrantz has come out. She's really carried this team to this point. We're, Nicole's played great. And for a rookie to play in this atmosphere in a big game, it's number one in the country, her first nationals. I mean, she's just risen to the occasion. And that was the thing that we were told about Nick and we thought about Nick coming in. She's a gamer. Whatever it takes to get the job done, she'll do it for you. And she's been doing that all year. And it's nice to see her have a good game for us. Coach Burns, thank you. When the 2008 team came out to help out, Smith gets that one to fall. And uh, that one knocked down and put in for two. Find a way. Nimick guarding against the best player in the country. Able to get to a lot on the offensive end. That's it's a tough job she has tonight. There are a bunch of players. Wow! For three! Is she on the sideline for that shot? Anticipating a double team and an open shot for herself. Hammered to the floor is Rui. Wow. This club, even when they're not playing at full bore, is good. Taylor Smith! Player of the year. I think she seems to be reminding her of that, too. They don't miss very often when they're that close, the clan, and uh, Raincock does not miss there. No. McMaster stealing it away. Here's Rui. Puts it up for two. Smart play by Rui. And I'm not implying that they are, and I'm not implying that they are not. Right. This one for Ivoroni. Good for three! Not at all. That's what cannot happen. Down the floor and an easy one for Buna. Simon Fraser will come away with the win. Uh, they do not need to take a shot. This game is over. They will go on to face the winner of Regina Laval, the Simon Fraser clan. What a tremendous team and sometimes the Mark Michelle of a tremendous team. Yeah, Croc, thanks a lot. Uh, Robin, McMaster must have given you a little bit of a scare there. They kept it pretty close for a while. Oh, they were very they were very much in it um, all the way for the, through the first half for sure. Um, the crowd was really into it for them, which helped them a lot, and we just had, knew we had to keep poised, and I think we did that very well in the second half. You kept your poise, and then it's like you guys kicked it into fifth gear and said, okay, ladies, enough's enough. Let's finish this one off. Yeah, it was kind of just like we knew that in the first half we hadn't played as well as we had hoped, and then... In the second half, we just needed to bring out what we knew we had in ourselves, so 
Well, you let in scoring with 27 points. Shows why you are the player of the year. Uh, how does that make you feel? Is uh, it still kind of sitting with you after the awards last night? Not really. It's just uh, what we needed to do to get it going. And uh, I'm just hoping that um, Muddy played it well as well. She had 20 points, which is awesome. And I think we just need to keep that going for the next couple of games.